Hello students, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to study about humulin production. Now see beta, if you know this, in non-diabetic individuals, insulin is produced by beta cell of pancreas. Insulin is a hormone which is produced by the beta cell of pancreas and the work of the insulin is to allow the uptake of glucose by the fat cells or the liver uh, your muscle cells so that they can convert the extra glucose into glycogen. Clear, beta? So pancreas, they will have the alpha cell, beta cell, but beta cell, we are focusing on beta cell, which will produce insulin. It is a hormone whose work is to convert extra glucose into glycogen. So this glucose will be converted into glycogen by the uptake of glucose by the fat cells or by muscle cells. Clear, beta? Now, the people who are not able to make insulin properly means there is deficiency of the insulin hormone. So we'll say such type of diabetes is known as insulin-dependent diabetes. So these people are the ones which are not able to synthesize sufficient amount of insulin. Because of the, you can say either loss of the B cells, means genetic problem. You can identify this problem as by saying it, because of the genetic problem, they are actually having a diabetes. Okay, and this type of diabetes, which is type one diabetes, it is type one diabetes. So what the people, we have tried to save them, how we try to save them, we try to remove the insulin from the pancreas of the slaughtered pigs and cattle and give it to the patient. So before 1982, insulin was isolated from the pancreas of the slaughtered pigs and cattle and it was given to the patient. But it was because it is a non-human source, so this insulin was creating some allergy symptoms. But these people, diabetic individuals, they were showing allergy. So I hope up till here you are able to understand better. So in 1983, US and Food Drug Administration, they approved the sale of first genetically engineered drug that is human insulin, also known as humulin. So first genetically engineered drug that is human inulin, insulin, also known as humulin, which was produced by Genetech and was marketed by LLL. So this permission was given. In 1983, this permission was given. Now try to understand, uh, it was very much challenging task to produce mature insulin. Reason is in human, pancreatic cell will not produce insulin directly. The pancreatic cells, means the beta cell, okay, but they will produce pro-insulin. They produce pro-insulin. Now, what is difference in insulin and pro-insulin? See the diagram carefully. Pro-insulin is the one which contains three polypeptide. Okay, I'll just draw the diagram, try to focus it. This is A chain, I'm using this color. This is for A chain, okay? Then this is your C chain. This is C chain and this is your B chain. After C chain, I have to draw the B chain. I'm using green color for BJ. This is BJ. Clear? So pro-insulin contain three polypeptide. Please focus better. Pro-insulin contain three polypeptide. Which three polypeptide? A chain, B chain, and C chain. And if you see A chain is having disulfide bridge this way. Okay, better. This way you can draw this way. Disulfide bridge is there. And it is present in between them also. This is the way disulfide bridge is present between A and B. Now, when this pro-insulin changes into mature insulin, when this pro-insulin changes into mature insulin, see the diagram, what changes will be there? Mature insulin will have only two polypeptides. Which two polypeptides? See, it is only A chain and it is only B chain means mature insulin will not have C polypeptide. And I'm drawing these two lines, so I hope you can understand. This is the disulfide bridge, which is within the A chain and in between A and B chain. Clear, beta? 
and free C polypeptide means the C polypeptide is not a part of the mature insulin. It is removed this way. So this is your free, which is removed, C peptide. And only the mature insulin will have only A and B chain. So please focus the diagram carefully. Pro-insulin contain three polypeptide. Let me write pro-insulin has three polypeptide. B, C, A. I'm writing with the sequence starting from the B, C, A. And mature insulin has only two, that is B and A, and C is removed. I hope this much you are able to understand better. The pro-insulin contain three polypeptide and mature insulin contain only two polypeptide. So this was a major challenging task for the company to prepare mature insulin. Now, why it was challenging task? The reason is, this is the post-translation modification. Okay, this is post-translation modification and bacteria does not have capability to do the post-translation modification. So they have to prepare, please focus, they have to prepare two DNA sequencing corresponding to A chain and B chain. And then these sequences are given to the E. coli bacteria to produce A protein and B protein, which is finally isolated and combined. Nasi. Now see here, this is your one uh, plasmid. We have taken one plasmid. And this is the leg Z zine. Focus beta, this is leg Z zine. Clear, I'll use this color, please focus. In the leg Z zine, you are putting insulin A. A chain you are putting. Okay, gene, this is gene. Okay, you are preparing this gene. This is known as cDNA. And you are giving it to the E. coli. Then E. coli is actually expressing this protein. And if you see, this is your, you know very well, in the lac operon you have studied, Z gene code for beta galactosidase. Remember, beta, it codes for beta galactosidase. So here, if you see, the expression is containing beta galactosidase. It is having A chain. Focus the red color. I'll highlight it with red color. Please focus. A chain and small methionine. This is methionine, which is attached. Okay, I'll use this color. Please focus. This is methionine, which is attached. And with the help of cyanogen bromide, we are trying to cleave the peptide bond after methionine so that we can get properly A chain isolated. We are able to get A chain isolated. See here, this is the A chain, we are getting it. Same procedure we are doing for the beta chain. We are incorporating into the Z gene, which chain beta now? We are incorporating B chain. Okay, beta. and same, it will be expressed here. So I'm using this green color. I'll highlight the green color this way. The green color, this is your beta chain. Okay, beta. We have removed it after this. We have purified A chain and B chain. This chain is coming here. And finally, we are combining them together with the disulfide bond to form mature insulin. Check, beta. This is your A chain. Clear. And down one is B chain. If you see between them is disulfide bridge, please remember the diagram this way. This is your A chain. This is your B chain. Make the B chain big. Reason is B chain is having 31 amino acids. A chain is having only 20 amino acids. B chain is having 31 amino acids. So B chain you have to draw big. And this is the disulfide bridge within A chain and between a and B chain, only two disulfide which you have to draw. So this is the way how the mature insulin was produced and it was done by the LLLA company. So if you remember, we discussed in human, the pancreatic cell will first make pro-insulin, which then undergo post-translation modification to make mature insulin. Pro-insulin contain an extra stretch of C-peptide, which is to be removed from the pro-insulin to change it into mature insulin. And as a result, mature insulin contain only two different polypeptide, that is A and B chain. Now I told you, the bacterial cell, they cannot do post-translation modification. 
very important they cannot do so to make this hormone using bacteria if i have to use bacteria and i have to make this hormone i have to prepare the coding sequence means i have to prepare the dna of a chain and b chain and i have to insert them next to the coding sequence of the gene which is responsible for making the beta galactosidase clear beta as a result you are getting a combination protein you call it as fusion protein is formed which is having the beta galactosidase and either a chain or b chain depending upon what you gene you have inserted now this step is necessary why because if you produce a and b chain separately it will be degraded by the bacteria themselves it will be degraded when expressed in bacteria so this that is why we have to produce the fusion protein now after the fusion protein which are expressed in bacteria they are purified and then treated with cyanogen bromide i focus if you remember in the diagram ki cyanogen bromide is there we are using it to cleave the fusion protein after methionine is it clear so that we can separate a chain or b chain and then a and b chains which are purified are mixed together to fold them or refold whatever with the help of disulfide bonds to form mature human insulin so i hope this video has helped you to learn how the human insulin production works thanks for watching